Hello and welcome to Sakuba. We're driving the Toyota GR86 today. I actually said it right that time. Instead of Toyota or whatever I say. For some reason it always like escapes my okay, mouth sounding all mangled. But uh, we are unfortunately the number one car. Been learning how this car drives at this track that I enjoy quite a bit. Haven't quite got it down exact yet. Uh, my best is just above a 102. 103.0 is where I'm at. And uh, there are a couple people uh, able to hit those twos. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of them here. And uh, I've spent a lot of the practice just trying to figure out what gear I wanted to be in half the time. Whether I want to go down to first gear in the corners or second gear. And I kind of, I think I got an idea of what I want to be doing. Green, green, green. So I just, uh, I'm hoping I can keep the train on the tracks, okay. so to speak. Just to hit some nice laps and I'll probably be okay. Found second gear was preferable in turn one, I think. Then you want first gear into this sharp corner, which makes sense. Oh, we drove it right there. Kind of worked out though. And here you don't need any brakes or shifting at all, just the quick lift off. I probably lifted off too much there, even. Probably don't even need to do that much, but I'm uh, expecting cold tires right now. So. And then I think first gear for here, but I'm not even completely convinced on that one yet. But I was finding first gear was working best for me. Here I kind of give a jab of the brakes, get it to third gear, and then just kind of modulate the throttle how I need to. One more lap. To get the most of the corner, but... Uh, that's an okay time, I guess. I can do better, but of course, uh, well, if the tires aren't up to temp, of course I can do better. Should be how it is. I really messed up this corner last lap, so let me get that fixed this time. You can really get on the throttle a lot earlier than you might expect right there. There, I pushed a little bit harder. Through that section. Make sure not to overdrive the exit there and end up in the grass, because I did that a couple of times in practice. If I don't completely mess up this corner, though, looks like this should be a better lap. Pushed it hard. Hey, my first 102! Heck yeah! I'll take that every day. Finally got in the 102s. Picked a good time to do it. Picked a good time to do it. <laughs> so we are a tenth off or so. Pole sitter. We are two tenths or so off the pole sitter. <laughs> we'll see if that changes anymore. Hopefully not too much. We can get ourselves a nice starting spot. Not get mired in traffic too bad. Seems like uh, racing in Japan here at Tsukuba always brings out the Japanese drivers, which is super cool. Always love racing people from around the world. Just gotta watch out for the pings. I got Yusuke in P1, Yoshinori P4. It's just something about, uh, well, I mean, obviously, it's a uh, Japanese track, so it's like the home circuit, right? Ryan M2 in sixth place. Uh, something tells me that is not his actual last name. I actually feel like maybe he just put M as in, like, the initial for his last name, but somebody else on the service decided to not actually use their last name at some point, and so that was this is Ryan M2. 
interestingly enough. I'm supposed to use a real name, actually, for accountability. So it always makes me a little nervous if I see someone that obviously doesn't have a real name because are they going to care what they do and how it affects others? Hopefully we don't even have to deal with it. I'm going to go ahead and park it. <laughs> are you the real Jeff Gordon? That poor guy gets that all the time. No, that is not the real Jeff Gordon, quote unquote, unless you're talking about Jeff Gordon from the Mid-South, who is not the NASCAR legend. <laughs> I've been in races with him before, and he has already answered, no, I am not that Jeff Gordon. That Jeff Gordon is from California, not Mid-South. And also, you know, not him. But we are waiting on a 14. Is he doing laps? I don't know. He is. He's actually P2 right now, so he's looking to find himself in the ball. He's knocked us down to fourth. That's pretty good. We are just a tiny, tiny bit ahead of the number two car. Who's at 3,700 I rating compared to my 3,800, so basically the same. That's the end of the session, P4. P3 back here in ninth. A whole 1,000 I rating drop from there, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we've got 1,700 here in B2 faster than me, so. Do I muted? No. I guess it's time to go, huh? Or at least uh, get onto the trail. Get on the left side. Some optimal, get all this set up. I do wonder if that Jeff Gordon has ever been like asked by anybody to like relinquish that account for the real, quote unquote, real Jeff Gordon, famous Jeff Gordon. I'd be curious if he's ever had any inquiries about that. I don't know if NASCAR Jeff Gordon actually does iRacing much at all or not. According to Race Labs, we would gain I rating from a P4. I like that idea. So I guess I should just aim for maybe a top five. That'd be pretty good. Just a clean race. Wouldn't be so bad anyway. Top half of the field, clean race. I'd be okay with that. Got 19 people in here? Yeah. I think I'd be satisfied with a top half of the field clean finish. So I guess that's what I'll go for. Uh, other than trying to win the race, obviously. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Not very far to go. Watching the guy on the right. Kind of a weird start. Green flag, green flag. Got people jumping the start back there. That's really cool of them. Hey, got some pushing and shoving. Got a little bit of tire off. We're fine though. Hello. Thank you for squeezing me very tight. Clear on the right. All right, we make it through. That was very... Those were some close quarters right there for a minute, so I am glad we made it out of that. So we will maintain our P4 position for now. Let's see if we can reel in those guys ahead at all. I'm usually not all that great on cold tires, so we'll see how that goes. You're back in fourth position. Okay, doing all right. That was a good turn one. 
for my standards. A little bit of draft helping us get some speed. All right, feeling good. Feel like I'm hitting my marks right now. We got a whole two seconds back uh, for the guy in sixth place. So even if the guy behind catches us, we might have a little bit of room to work with at least. Let's try not to let that guy catch us anyway, though. See what we can do about that. That last lap was a 102.7. The guy behind has just done a 102.8. Oh, contact for the lead. Didn't see exactly what happened, but I saw that they made contact. Well, those rumblies too much. I don't want to send myself around. We got a nice five car pack for the lead pretty much right now. Right on this guy's back bumper. Hot wheels. Mm, pushing a little bit. The car is probably going through a little, going through there a little faster than normal. Man, they are really bumping each other up there. I don't know if they're gonna make it the whole race. Kind of just stuck. Kind of having to wait a little bit. Can I find a way around? Do I even want to necessarily right now with so much race left? I think I do. Just feel like I'm being held up a little bit right now. Not enough of a run here to do anything though. We have lap traffic coming up. That could be interesting. Didn't shift into first for some reason. I'm okay. told it to. I guess I was going too fast still. Oh, why did I shift? That's not where I like to shift. Do not like to shift there. They did anyway. I guess it's okay. That was a very dumb attempt to, to draft off of a guy that's saying pass left. Interesting. Going away from the guy behind a little bit. It'd be nice to have that breathing room. Ugh, had to shift to first there because they slowed down so much. Really broke my momentum. Whoa, I definitely put too much wheel in it there. Got on the curb and almost spun myself out. Gotta be careful. No more of that. Let the guy uh, behind catch up a little bit again, too. Also, we're going for a pass and breaking the draft. The car ahead. 
Ed has just done it. 102.7. Shifted to first again. Through there. Even though I don't like doing that. Now I'm getting to bad habits. <laughs> that time I went too wide. Last lap I went too shallow, that time I went too wide. That's probably like one of the easiest corners on the on the darn course. And I messed that up twice in a row. I wonder what happened to the six. He's uh falling back as a lap car, trying to get people by him. Still overcooked it. Guy had had, it, had an even worse corner though. Almost caught up to him right there. Oh my god, he's parking it. I almost hit the the curb and spun it again. I need to gather it back up. Fortunately, the two cars ahead kind of pulling away. Not too far, though. We'll be fine and be able to get back to them, especially if they start battling more. I was feeling pretty sporty about now. Lots of grip in the tires as they've warmed up. Hmm. I think I'm just not quite as fast as these guys, though. Should bolt there. kind of wanted to that time because it felt like I had more speed than I usually have through that sector and I'm like all right let me let me get a little bit of extra speed from this extra gear I think it worked out all right this definitely could get interesting with those two battling up front they've already shown they want to they're willing to use bumpers whether it was intentional or not, it happened. And they've got a close battle. They're just behind the 14 here. Try not to overdrive. All right, Colton. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Nine's still back there. He's holding on. Uh oh, we're teens wide. Oh, no. Okay, thankfully he didn't pull it hard right, spin off into me. Can we catch up to these guys now? I don't know if we can. They're pretty fast. I'll try. Second ahead. Why the two is swerving out of the draft in front of him. 
Is he trying to threaten a dive? I don't know. That was a weird one. Lots of grip in the tires. We're on that final corner. Get some good speed through there. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0.7. Pushed it a little too hard on exit. Not a great way to go through turn one. Careful now on that curb. I tried a little bit of a wider entry to see if I could get a good runoff. Didn't really work out. Pushing it hard. Using all of the track. Half a second ahead. You're matching race pace. Ooh. I feel like I'm getting a little better. Getting kind of used to how this car drives here. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Of course, as soon as I say that's when I'm gonna like crash at some point this lap, I'm sure. Two unfortunately falling off of the eight. I wanted them to battle. <laughs> About a second back to the 9. The 14 hasn't been able to catch back up, which is interesting. He was pretty fast early on. Right on the two. How much time we got. We're coming to the white flag this lap. I think the eight might have made a mistake, did he? It looked like we caught him a little bit. I didn't see anything, but caught him a lot all of a sudden. This is going to be interesting. Definitely coming to the white flag here. It's pretty close to being white flag this lap. On time. White flag. One more left to go. Sorry about that, Bob. Okay. That was really close. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Ah, a great turn one. That sucks. Leave it to me to mess it up on the last lap, huh? Oh, they're close, though. Two's gonna go for it. There could be contact. This is gonna be a dangerous spot, too. Oh boy, what's going to happen here? Ah, oh, I gave it my best. Great drive, that's a podium. There's the flag, it's over. Good race, good win, that was fun. Nice run. Solid Ooh, my wrist hurts. <laughs> so we got P3. That's awesome. We're on the podium, and we were pretty darn oh, close. Yeah, I didn't hear anybody in the start there about bike on me on the rumble in the first corner. <laughs> I didn't notice anything. If, uh, or at least I don't remember it. Referring to the nine.
But heck yeah, that was pretty good. I All I wanted was a top half of the field clean race, and we got ourselves a podium clean race. Park over here, make sure everyone can see me. Nice visible spot. That went really well. I mean, I know I'm the one car. I'm technically supposed to win or whatever, but... Uh, that's not really how it works when it's a car I'm still new to, even though everyone's new to it. But we got ourselves a P3. Didn't make any major mistakes. And uh, those guys didn't wreck each other. <laughs> Which uh, would have benefited me, but also glad to see. Mr. M2 got the most amount of incidents, so I guess I was right to be concerned. Of course, they might not have been his fault. Maybe we will see as we check the incidents. You know there's going to be something going on on the first lap. There always is. So let's, uh, I like that M&M's car. So the two. No idea where he's going. Right up the middle, I guess. That's exactly where he's going. What a save. Who was that? Is this the guy that I was talking about? Sorry if I scared anyone. What a save. I mean, he's 45 degree angle. That was pretty well done there. And that's how I got around him on the left side. Oh, he's driving in way hard. Oh no, that was... <laughs> that was unfortunate. I could just tell there's like... I don't know, is he diving in right there? Is he intentionally doing that? Like, trying to get to the inside? Either way, it's a bad idea. He just, he hits the grass and just KOs that poor guy. Oh, it's, oh, see, it's M2. It wasn't even his fault. One, I feel silly when M2 is his actual legal name. Oh, that one's, ooh, that's, that's tough to call. Because the six, is that how the six wants to take the corner? Talking about, is that how he wanted to take the corner? Is he trying to do like a late apex thing? I don't know, but the, uh, it wasn't very fast, first of all. And the three is like, now I'm going to, I'm not going to let you cut down right there. That was just kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's the line you want to be taking. For the six, though. He's broken, too, isn't he? Yeah, something's wrong with that car. That's crab walking. <laughs> but he really, uh, had trouble with that one. Oh my gosh, M2 is again an innocent bystander. I am eating my words. In fact, he's just being a defensive driver. He's trying to get away from M&M's. Rest in peace to m and spokes candies, by the way. Can't believe they died in that M&M's accident. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, okay. Again, Mr. M2, innocent bystander. I am a fool, a judgmental fool. Because look at that. Not even his fault. He's just getting clobbered. Ooh, spin out right there. I've done that plenty of times in other cars, usually the Mazda. <laughs> you just, that really kills you right there because you usually have a lot of wheel on the exit of that corner. And as soon as you hit the dirt, there's just no grip. Sends you right around. Is it gonna happen again? Oh yeah, sure is. Except there was someone to catch him. Unfortunate. And that was it. So uh, apologies to Mr. M2, uh, legal name M2. I think he was an innocent bystander and was actually not very dangerous, funnily enough. But uh, thankfully, we kept it clean as well with our 0x, one of four to do it. Heck yeah. Uh, maybe uh, I should be getting off tracks <laughs> if I want to be faster. Nah, we're fine. We got ourselves a podium and a zero X and a very fun race. So I will definitely take it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.